Saturday, May 22nd. Today we're going to head out to our front yard garden and harvest our Savoy cabbage. But before we do that, let's look and see what's growing out here. Front and center here we have a patch of strawberry plants. This is the Mines Schindler variety and a variety that is uh, not commonly found at the supermarket. The berries are quite uh, soft and not like your typical strawberry which has uh, more texture so it's a very sweet soft moist watery berry and then we planted a gelaro jalapeno this is a yellow variety and it's a very finicky plant so we, we've been trying to grow it for the longest time and we babied the other ones we really have to super baby them so hopefully we'll see a yellow jalapeno from the garden and then our straw or not our strawberry but our watermelon patch uh, is getting bigger and then uh, the leaves are getting a much larger too so it's a good indicator when they're about my a little bit bigger than the size of my hand and here we have uh, our corn this is a seneca stock of red corn and roma tomatoes and then down this way uh, we have Japonica striped maize corn if you're visiting us for the first time and wondering about that corn We planted down in this little patch here um, Some spigarello. This is an Italian leaf broccoli and then next to it. We have some gailan, which is Chinese kale and then our cabbage is tucked in there and it is one that we sowed later than normal and did a little bit by happenstance we've been trying to grow them but then something would happen to the plant and um, what I ended up doing was I just put 10 or so seeds in a little area and then a few sprouted and survived the pill bugs and all that stuff and then we had two strong plants I thinned out to one and now we have this this big cabbage in here we also were able to harvest uh, a red Chinese type cabbage from elsewhere in the backyard and made some dumplings with it and that was super fun to do. This cabbage is a French heirloom and I think the French pronunciation is Savoie. It's, in terms of its texture, it's not as dense as a traditional cabbage that we're very familiar with. It's somewhere between a traditional cabbage and a Chinese cabbage. So with its texture and density, it's gonna be perfect for a Vietnamese chicken salad. We're going to harvest it to make that um, this evening. And um, in terms of growing it, it's uh, I had mentioned that it's out of season. It's it likes cooler weather, so to grow it this late, we can we might risk not getting a cabbage this big. And what has helped it a lot is that our weather has been cooler, and then we have all these plants that have grown around it to protect it from direct sun and to give it more humidity and cooler temperatures in here and so we have a big it looks like a big head of cabbage to harvest the other thing is that um, I was playing chicken with it it had formed to a good maybe large softball size cabbage head and then I wasn't ready to use it so we just let it grow and there was a risk of it bolting if it got too hot but the weather has cooperated so here we are with our nice looking head of cabbage and let's go and get in there and harvest it and see what it looks like. Alright. Here we go. Wow, it's pretty big. Alright, let's clean this guy up. <laughs> 